It's got to go up and over it. There you go. Hold on, let me get my up higher. You keep pushing it off. I know, but you got to lift it. That's higher. Okay, help her, Eric. She's going to drop it, dude. Okay. What's up, everyone? This is Be The Installer here. I'm with the 97-inch, $25,000 OLED TV. I'm here with my wife, Jen. Hi. <laughs> hiding behind the giant box. And I'm honestly just astonished it's even here. This is something that I wanted to do all year long. And finally, we got the TV. I know. And typically, I'm not super excited about the TVs like he is. I'm just in it for the ride. But um, getting it here was crazy. FedEx Freight brought it, showed up at our house yesterday, and it was like Santa coming to town. They don't deliver them that often. So Brandon had to get up there in the truck and help him get it off. It was pretty wild and, and a big adventure in our uh, cul-de-sac. And even getting into the house was a pain in the butt because the handles on this thing are made for like LeBron James, but they're definitely not made for Jen, who's like five foot <laughs> even. So Eric and I had to like lug this thing in like foot by foot into the door. And since this 90 seven inch gallery series OLED is meant to go on the wall and look like a beautiful piece of artwork with its own mount means we're definitely going to put it there and take down the 98 inch TCL QLED because you know it's awesome but it's not a 97 inch OLED that's for sure. Okay enough of all the talking let's get into this box here. Let's do it all right. So Brandon I know you didn't like my last joke and poop jokes aren't your favorite but you got to admit they are a solid number two. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, goodness, this is tall. What would we do without your humor? You would not have nearly as much fun. Yeah. This is true. Let us know in the comments, rate that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna hear what people think of that joke. All right, so we could just take the top like up and over now that we move those straps, but it's not really easy for most people unless you have like 20 foot ceilings. So we'll, we'll cut the top and we'll pull these tabs here and Jen's gonna do it. This, this should be pretty funny. Seeing how the box is as tall as she is. <laughs> Dude, this box is enormous. It's a big one. Okay, you can pop that open. I don't think there's a lot in here, but we'll go over it anyways. We'll kind of maybe see if we can see. See what you can find. Good old startup guide. I'm gonna pull the remote out and see what we got. Eric and I were actually making a big joke about this because we were pretty sure it's the normal one. Is it the normal LG remote? Bring it out. Let's I think see. You're it. right. So if you guys don't know, the LG, the 88 inch 8K model, that's $25,000 as well, comes with this awesome silver signature series remote and box and kit and everything and it looks so premier. And I had a good feeling that this $25,000 TV comes with the same magic remote from LG that you get with every other TV. Okay, Ooh, we have the mount, I think. Wall mount bracket. I think there's this actually is... two with this TV. I don't know. Is it heavy? It's heavy. <laughs> Good thing it's shoulders day. No leverage. All right, we'll check that out in a minute. Let's get the box disassembled. Okay, so we've got our quick start guide here. It recommends taking the box apart, the front from the back. Um, then we want to do a nice deep squat. Um, <laughs> and then it looks like we're going to be laying it down on the box. But I don't know, Brandon, what do you think? Should we just kind of leave it in the box and then put the mount on from there? Yes, that's oh. what we should do. Sounds good. I like that. All right. Well, let's go for it. Let's do it. Get this box apart. Let's do it. I definitely am going to deep squat. Yeah, deep squat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's silly. Deep squat. Okay, now all we have to do is just kind of open the box up like a book. All right, let's take them apart. Let's do it. We got two. You want to go back? Let's take this one that way. Okay. Please. The TV's heavy. I feel very comfortable that it's not going to tip. Go that way. Is there room? Yeah. Hey, Brent, this is an impressive package. Yeah. You're telling me. This is probably the most protected TV I've ever seen with regards to styrofoam. Probably not awesome for the environment, but definitely for the $25,000 TV that you want to show up in one piece to your house. <laughs> yeah. Well worth the investment. Uh, it's crazy. All right. Let's, uh, let's pick it apart and let's get down to the TV. It's like Christmas. <laughs> what? Scary. I got the TV. I'll hold it. I'll give it a check each time. 
Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Grab that one. You got it? Thank you. All right, Jen, you ready to unveil the TV? Yeah. Oh, we can't do it yet. We actually have to take the TV down first. And right. then this has the mount, so it's already set up, ready to go. Stick the mount on the wall, put the brackets on the TV, hang it after we take that one down. We've got a few things to do. Let's get it done quick so everyone can see how cool this TV looks. It sounds like you've got a few things to do. All right, fine. I'm just gonna sit back. Eric, will you help me? <laughs> sure. All right, cool. You wanna slide out of the way at least? Yeah. We gotta go this way. Actually, it's just you. <sighs> cool. So yeah, you're released for a little bit. Okay. okay, so in order to get the 97 inch OLED up here, we have to take this TCL down. And it has big feet on the end that we had to put back on before removing the safety pin in the back of this heavy duty mount. Once we have the TV off, then we can take the lag bolts out of the wall, take the mount down. So then what remains are a bunch of holes from all the different TVs and projectors we've mounted on this wall. But the only thing that really matters is the mark at the bottom here where we want the bottom of this TV to match where the bottom of the TCL was. All the other holes will be covered by the 97 inch OLED. We do have a power and a low voltage box on the left. It will have the HDMI and the power connected to it and it should all tuck neatly behind the TV. Then we have to break out the LG wall mount bracket. It's kind of like a low profile mount specifically made for this TV. When you open the box, you have various instruction manuals and a giant template, which I'm going to show you how I'll use it in a second. Then there's four different wall plates that we're going to connect up. Then there's the two little brackets that go on the TV itself. And then you have the two knobs that will connect to the brackets that we talked about just a second ago. And of course, you have some screws and bolts and things to cinch it all up. So whenever you're installing a TV mount, you want to make sure that you have the brackets on the TV first so you have an understanding of where everything goes. So four simple screws on each side. And these TV brackets are actually quite strong and they're angled in a specific way that allows you to angle the TV bottom out from the wall, connect the two knobs underneath in these two areas. And once you set it down, it forces the mount inward toward the TV, which makes it look all nice and flat. So now in order to hang the actual wall plates, we need to know the distance from the bottom of the TV up to where the brackets sit when it's flush. And I measured it to be about 40 inches when the TV is about 48 and a quarter inches. So then I went over to the template and I made sure that that aligns by putting the actual bracket exactly where it's supposed to be on the template and measuring where they have the top with the arrow right there and it matches up. So therefore, I don't really need this template on the wall and sometimes it can become a bit cumbersome to put that template up on the wall if you can do simple math. And we have the four brackets I spoke about where we connect two together using the three little screws. That gives you two nice long wall plates. Find the studs on each side. Hopefully you get a stud on each side of the main resting point, which is that giant knob. Then you just level the two wall plates up Drill the four holes on each side and then screw in the wall plates to the wall. So then to make sure that this is all going to work out, we measured the distance between the two knobs and it was the 62.4 inches that it needed to be. In addition, we also checked level to make sure that the TV is not going to be crooked, even though it has a little bit of room for error. And before we call Jen back in here to hang up this big TV, let me show you the HDMI ports and what's on the back because we're not going to see that again. Just FYI, if you did want to put this on an actual TV wall mount at home, you can use the typical Visa pattern. This is a 600 by 400 millimeter pattern, which is pretty standard for most large mounts. And then over here on the right, you have a couple of USB ports at the top, along with four HDMIs. All of them are 4K at 120, so you're able to game. If you are a big time gamer, you can use the next gen consoles on any of those. HDMI 2 is the eARC port, so that's the one you want to connect to your stereo. We'll make sure we do that for our and then you have a LAN port there, digital optical output, and then on the bottom you have antenna cable in and some IR blaster stuff if you want to connect it to a home theater. And then you have a little recessed area where you can run your HDMI cords down here or you can run them all the way back toward the middle of the TV. I believe that power outlet slash low voltage box is somewhere in this area. So it might not be perfect, but again, the cords are very thin, so it won't make it stick out much, if at all. So now all we really have to do is get Jen and hang this big TV up. I'm so excited. Okay, what do you think? It looks pretty good? Uh, yeah, it looks great. So we're trying to hook those little knobs on these little yep. things back here. We're going to lift it up, bottom out, 
Top in. Should be a piece of cake, right? 100 pound, 97 inch TV? Totally. I'm going to need to put my hair up for this. <laughs> okay. That's how you know it's serious. I don't know how we're going to get this even out of here. Maybe lift it with two hands down here and try to... Oh my gosh, that's pretty heavy, huh? <laughs> how about we go in the back? We got to go in the back and go under it and then we'll set it up on the plastic, okay? Deep squat. One, two, three. Set it on that plastic. Good Lord. Oh man. All right, so we got to get under it with our front hand, I think, and the back hand, and we're gonna have to lift it up like that. You think it'll be all right? Or do you want Eric to do it? Let me try it. I'll okay. try it. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, stand up. Okay, take your time. Oh yeah. Come my way. Oh, I see. Like, I feel like I'm in. I'm not. Okay, go up higher. The thing is flat. Yeah. Can you go over there, Eric, real quick and flip that up? Can you haul it or no? I got it. Good thing I have these. Pull that thing out. Thunder thighs here. Yeah, you got to just hook the bottom of it on first. Ready? Go up as high as you can. It's got to go up and over it. There you go. Hold on. Let me get my up higher. <laughs> and keep pushing it off. I know, but you gotta lift it, that's higher. Okay, help her, Eric, she's gonna drop it, dude. Okay. Set it down. Okay. Right there. You got it, Eric? Yep. Pull it out. Okay, you guys just go up. Up. Got it, oh, nope, too high. Thank there you. we go. Okay. Bring it down. Bring it down. There we go. Okay. I don't think yours is all the way down. Bring it. There it is. Okay. We got to lift it in. Lift it as you go in. There you go. All the way. Keep lifting. Keep pushing. Whew. Or not. Here, we need to pull. Hold on. Just crap down. It's got to go in like that. There you go. Okay. Holy crap. That was not easy. That mount is tight. Okay. Well, that's fun. So this G2 comes with its own mount, but most TVs don't. And almost everyone that comes to my channel asks me which TV mount to buy. And I got you covered because I've been using Pippi Shell and Pearl Smith mounts for years. I just put a 75 inch LED TV on the Pippi Shell PIX F2 dual arm full extension mount in our game room because it's rock solid for the larger 50 to 90 inch TVs. The PIX F2 can be mounted on studs as wide as 24 inches and can extend out 29 inches so you can turn it for multiple viewing angles or just get behind it and change out the cords all while having no concerns about the safety of your TV. If you need a great mount for a smaller TVs from 26 to 65 inches, the PIM FK1 dual arm extension mount is perfect. We recently used the medium sized dual arm mount to put a TV up in our guest room. The universal brackets work on almost all TV configurations. The wall plate is strong and adjustable and can hit two studs spaced 16 inches apart or even one in the middle if needed. And I've used this mount probably 500 times myself, so I can't recommend it enough and it's my go-to mount for almost all TVs. And lastly, if you're looking to watch TV outside or anywhere mobility is needed, check out the Pearl Gear Rolling TV Stand. It is built like a tank holding the 75 inch LED TV with ease. Whenever we want to watch a game or a movie outside. Very easy to turn and it has height adjustability as well as wheels that lock in place. It's also great for corporate events. We use this for the 85 inch 8K TVs at the TV shootout in New York City and they were perfect for moving and displaying them from room to room. So check out all these products in the link in the description below and I want to thank Pippi Shell for sponsoring this part of the video. You know, if you guys are doing this at home, if you have the 97 inch, don't make your wife help you do this. She's, she's a champ, I have to pre appreciate you for that. But uh, that was quite a heavy lift. But in order for you to see how cool this TV is, we really need to plug it in, connect the HDMI cord, and fire this up, and then Jen's gonna pull the plastic off. I think this will be more satisfying plastic pull than the last TV we did. Let's hope so. All right, <laughs> let's do that. So we're gonna have to pull this out, down and out. And watch out, it's gonna come flying down at us. Okay, so we got to connect it to HDMI 2 because this is a sound system. So we got to connect it to that ARC eARC right there. So that's pretty straightforward. And then we'll send some of that back of the wall because we don't need all the slack. Yeah, that works. And then we can feed it through. So that's pretty cool. You know, it runs down and then that's going to go right into the wall. But then the pop problem is this power outlet is enormous. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool, but that is definitely gonna be the limiting factor when we push it back. Ready, Jen, we're gonna lift, 
Lift it straight up. <clears throat> Keep lifting. Push. Oh yeah, we're back to that situation where. Yeah, so now the bottom kicks out. But it's fine for now. We'll be able to see how cool this TV looks. Turn it on, get everything all set up. So let's do it. All right, now we got this all hooked up. It's time to get the plastic off. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I missed out last time. So here we go. All you right. ready? You let's ready? do it. Okay. It's a big one. Yep. Ooh, she's so pretty. <laughs> just throw it over there with all the other stuff and the other 98 yeah. inch TV and all the That's tools cool. and all the fun stuff. Okay. Awesome. Good work. So all you have to do is buy a $25,000 TV and you can save $51 in your energy costs. Nice. It's perfect. It's worth it. <laughs> worth it's totally it. worth it. All right, man. Here it is. The Gallery Series OLED TV, the 97 inch. I mean, it is, it's a, it's a big TV. Not gonna lie, but I think everyone wants us to turn it on, so let's do that. Of course, no $25,000 TV would be complete without a beautiful LG Magic Remote. For the last two years, the Magic Remote has been built a little differently. It sits more flat on a table instead of rolling around like the old one did. It does have the track wheel in the middle and it does have the cursor on the screen, of course. And a lot of the people do like the one through zero buttons because you can program those to an app or to an HDMI source. And you have your volume and your channel up and down buttons along with the home button. And then down at the bottom, you have various customizable buttons along with many of the different apps that you might use in your home today. I would prefer if this TV came with that awesome signature series silver remote that the LG 88 inch Z2 comes with. I've already posted that video, so check that one out because it's really cool. We did that in New York, but we should turn this TV on because really that's what you guys are waiting for. So we have this LG all set up and we need to go and do a couple things before I show you content. One of the things is the energy saving mode. There's a couple different things that the TVs do when you get them out of the box here and we need to turn that off. So I'm gonna go into the OLED care here and go into the device self care and there's an energy savings thing that you wanna turn off because otherwise you can't get it to its max brightness and therefore I can't show you how awesome this TV is. So that pumped the brightness up a little bit. And then when you go into the picture mode itself, you have another one that says auto power save and we wanna get rid of that. We could just go to standard or normally what I use in is expert bright here. And when we do that, there you go. So now it's really bright and the color temperature changed a bit, but you know, in the settings, there's all kinds of stuff you can do, but I really just want to get into the content. So that's where I'm going to leave it, but let's get to the operating system. For those of you who have never seen an LG TV, they have this LG WebOS 22 where it's full screen, just a lot going on. And you have like all kinds of things like sporting events and updates and things uh, over here it could be recent inputs. Uh, a lot of trending now, app list, and then you go down and you have your inputs and things that you can connect to with the uh, ThinkQ app. Frequently watched channels, LG channels, sports alert, shopping, and so on and so on. All kinds of stuff. So, I mean, honestly, even if you didn't have cable and you just had this TV, you'd be set because one of the things that's really cool about this and, you know, the Samsung as well is that it has its own channels so you can go to the LG channel list and watch all kinds of content without even subscribing to cable so they have you know you can see like all kinds of uh, NCAA sports you got PBS Bloomberg TV AccuWeather history channels watch you can look at deal or no deal all kinds of cool stuff and then if you go up here and click on live you can look at this from the guide perspective so you got all these channels and all these options and that's before you even pay for any other services because to be honest if you're buying a $25,000 TV, it's nice to get a few free channels, right? So that's pretty much it for the operating system and these awesome LG channels. So let's get out of this and get into some sports. 
Okay, so now we have YouTube TV on, which is my go-to for watching sports and TV and whatnot, just because price is a little less expensive than cable, but not by much. And it looks really good for sports. I mean, I've had all kinds of different TVs in here. With this size, you're typically wondering, is it gonna be as sharp as some of the smaller TVs? Is it gonna be as bright as some of the QLED TVs? And I have to say, it looks as bright as anything that I've had in this room, including some of the brighter QLEDs when watching this, you know, standard dynamic range or SDR content. And as far as the sharpness or, you know, the resolution being upscaled, I think it looks really good because, you know, this is a huge TV and you'd think putting it up on a TV that's like four times the size of a 55 inch that you'd have a lot of fall off, but I don't see any fall off. Even if I get up a little closer, it still looks really good. And I'm sure this is going to be a huge hit on football Sundays or for whatever sports that you guys might watch. But I definitely want to check out some HDR movies. That's one of the things that I think this is going to really look awesome with. Okay, so we're watching Encanto here where we can check out the HDR Dolby Vision on a full screen animated movie. It can't get a whole lot better than this. And as you can see, it's extremely bright and colorful. I'll be honest, it's pretty hard to find something that doesn't look good on this 97 inch OLED. Whether you're watching an incredibly bright scene or you're watching one that has like both bright and dark areas or a scene that's very dark where you can see very minimal detail on a lot of other TVs is able to give you one of the most vibrant pictures you'll ever see in a TV. It's really something else. And we're going to check out all kinds of movies over the coming weeks. So you'll have to let us know what you guys want to see. But I definitely wanted to check out one of the tests, which is the dirty screen effect test or the screen uniformity, because that's something that's important with the TV of this size. So let's do that real quick before we show some gaming and outro the video. All right. So we're watching this dirty screen effect test for modern wise. So just keep your eyes locked on the hockey player and see if you can notice any dirt or uniformity issues behind him. And you know, we do see a little bit, probably a little bit more than we really like to see on a $25,000 OLED. But if you didn't do this test, you'd probably never notice this. But these TVs do have a pixel refresh or pixel shift that you can do to help eliminate some of these issues. And I think that should do us just fine. But watching this hockey player go across the screen had me thinking that we haven't done gaming yet. So let's get into some gaming now. All right, so we're playing Rocket League, which if you haven't played is a really fun game and it looks amazing on here. It is by far the sharpest content that I've seen on this TV so far. And I believe this does 4K at 120. So what I can do is pull up the game optimizer at the bottom here. And yeah, it does say 120 frames per second. So it's also got auto game mode, ALLM, and it does have VRR, but I don't think it's engaged right now. I probably can push that, but you got all kinds of different things in this game mode. It's pretty awesome. And if you want to click into it further, you can also bring it up onto the side here where you have more options to change different things. You can change the genre of the game. You can also reduce blue light and further decrease the input lag. So it's pretty cool that they have all this stuff in the game optimizer above and beyond the fact that LG is amazing for games in general. You know, you have four HDMIs that are 4K 120 and they all do VRR and FreeSync and G-Sync and all this stuff if you want to do computer gaming as well. So really cool gaming TV. And with this size and immersion, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. So yeah, this TV, TV looks amazing. I'm so excited to have this in the house. And, you know, clearly we're kicking butt in this game. So I think it's time to get Jen back in here and wrap it up. All right. Well, that's it. Awesome TV. Thank you guys for watching this video on the 97 inch LG G2 Gallery Series TV. Let me know in the comments what other things you need to see on this TV. And I'm excited to kind of compare it to the 98 inch TCL and maybe even 120 inch projection screen. So we got some things to do. I'm really excited. And I want to thank Jen and Eric for helping me lift this up here because honestly, that was a struggle, you know, safety yeah. first, then teamwork, as we always say. And don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and then ring the notification bell. And just like that, you can be the installer. All right. Good job.